Okay, so let's look at another example. This time they give us a sequence or actually a series written out like this and they ask us to evaluate first of all the number of terms in the series so they didn't tell us what type of series it is but it is very important that we know what type of series it is so let's confirm that it is arithmetic so 1 minus 6 gives me 5 negative 5 sorry okay negative 4 minus 1 gives me negative 5 2 is enough to see oh that's constant for sure Okay, which means that this is indeed an arithmetic series where that is my constant difference and this is my first term okay very good the first question asks me to evaluate the number of terms in the series we start at 6 and we end so term 1 is equal to 6 term 2 is equal to one and this goes on until we get to term n we don't know how many terms there are but this last term is equal to negative 239 okay but what I do know is the last term so what I do know is that term tn is equal to negative 239 and tn is actually remember that's a plus n minus 1 d each term is a term in, in the sequence, in the arithmetic sequence. So each term can be expressed like that, where a is equal to 6 plus n is not known, n minus 1 is not known, but d is equal to negative 5, is equal to negative 239. And all I need to do now is to solve for n. It's an equation. Okay, so whenever I've got an unknown, I need to somehow find an equation that's going to help me get that unknown. In this case, my unknown is n. And here is my equation where I get that unknown. Okay. So what do we have? Okay, let's just subtract a 6 on both sides. Minus 6. So that gives me negative, um, actually, n minus 1 times negative 5 is equal to 239. Negative 239 minus 6 is negative 245. Divide both sides with a negative 5. Negative 5. And that tells me n minus 1 is equal to, what's that? 490, 49. 49, which means n is equal to 50. There's 50 terms. Cool. And now they ask me to find the sum of the series. In other words, find the sum of the first 50 terms. Okay, now you will recall that we had two, two formulas. We had the, this formula, 2a plus n minus 1d, or we had just the term, the first term plus the last term, and the reason, that's an L, okay, the reason why this is going to be a simpler formula is because I have the last term. No. Yeah, there, there we go, that's the last term in the sequence. So why not just use that? So I have 50 over 2 plus a is equal to 6 and l is equal to negative 239 which gives me 25 times 6 minus 239 gives me negative 233 and when I calculate that I get well let's use our calculator 25 times 233 negative gives me negative 5825 and there we go that is the sum of the sequence no the sum of the series